Father Perry, members of the church today, we present our catechumens who are beginning their final period of preparation and purification leading to their baptism at Easter Vigil. They have found strength in God's grace and support in our community prayers and example. Now they ask that they be recognized for their progress, for the progress they have made in their spiritual formation, and that they receive the assurance of our blessings and prayers as they go forth to the right of election. People of the church, these catechumens who have been preparing for the sacraments of initiation hope that they will be found ready to participate in the rite of election on Saturday, or they are, and be chosen in Christ for the Easter sacraments. It is the responsibility of this community to inquire about their readiness before they are presented to the bishop. So godparents, as you've joined with your catechumens, I begin by asking you first of all. Godparents, I ask you for your testimony about these catechumens, for your testimony represents the discernment of the whole church community. Have these catechumens taken their formation in the gospel and in the Catholic way of life seriously? Excuse me? Okay. Have they given evidence of their conversion by the example of their lives? Do you judge them to be ready to be presented to the bishop for the right of election? My brothers and sisters in this assembly of faith, are you ready to support the testimony about these catechumens which has been expressed in your name by these godparents and to include these catechumens in your prayers and affection as we move toward the Easter Triduum? Yes. Then, my dear catechumens, your own godparents, the catechists, and this entire community have spoken in favor of you. Since you have already heard the call of Christ, you must now express your response to that call clearly and in the presence of the church. Therefore, do you wish to enter fully into the life of the church through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist? Okay. Then as a sign of your commitment to live as faithful followers of Christ and your desire to be initiated sacramentally into the life of the Roman Catholic Church, I ask you to offer your name for enrollment. Genesis Medina. Adrian Ariano. David Arviso. Brian Moreno. I'm sorry, Marvin Moreno. Brian Moreno. Perla Belen Urias. Adolfo Cristobal. Adolfo Cristobal. Shayla Rochelle, Rochelle came, uh, is also an elect, but she did not come. She wasn't feeling well. I now present, present Anthony Ledesma, 
who has signed the book but is part of the community. Father of love and power, it is your will to establish everything in Christ and to draw us into his all-embracing love. Guide these catechumens in the days and weeks ahead, strengthen them in their vocation, build them into the kingdom of your Son, and seal them with the spirit of your promise. Christ will be your way, your truth, and your life. Please stand. <clears throat> My sisters and brothers, we look forward to celebrating at the Triduum the life-giving mysteries of our Lord's suffering, death, and resurrection. As we journey together to the Easter sacraments, these catechumens will look to us for an example of Christian renewal. Let us pray to the Lord for them and for ourselves that we may be renewed by one another's efforts and together come to share the joys of Easter. That our catechumens may be freed from selfishness and learn to put others first. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That their godparents may be living examples of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That their catechists may always convey to them the beauty of God's word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That these catechumens may share with others the joy they have found in their friendship with Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the poor and the hungry of the world, we may pray, fast, and give alms as the gospel teaches, making this Lent the springtime of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My dear friends, you are about to set out on the road that leads to the glory of Easter. Christ will be your way, your truth, and your life. In his name, we send you forth from this community to celebrate with the bishop the Lord's choice of you to be numbered among his elect. Until we meet again for the scrutinies, walk always in his peace. We want to welcome our catechumens in this next huge step on this, their day, the right of the election. I want to note one last thing. The adults will be going to the uh, uh, cathedral today, and Archbishop Gomez will be um, receiving them on this day of their election. The children are not going because it's really quite a crowded thing, and it's, uh, I don't want to lose any of them there. But we want to take them and their parents and godparents on another Sunday uh, to walk through the cathedral and know the cathedral, the place where our archbishop and the pastor of our church uh, presides so that they have a connection with the Archbishop or at least uh, the cathedral place where we are connected as a church. So at this time I send you forth with your prospective catechists to reflect further on this word and make it your own.